Most interviews, no matter what the industry, are designed to assess a few key areas. Professionalism, interest in the job being offered, fit for the job, including applicable skills, and personality. Here are some tips on the do's and don'ts of interviewing. Do be sure to dress appropriately for your interview. If you're a man, wear a suit. You can never go wrong with navy blue, a charcoal gray, a white shirt, and a nice tie. If you are a woman, do make sure you wear a suit to the interview. Either a skirt suit or a pantsuit is fine. Don't wear large jewelry, loud colors, or too much makeup. Don't give a limp handshake. Nice to meet you. Do give a firm but not bone crushing handshake. The key to a good handshake is to get the web between your thumb and forefinger fully in contact with that of the person with whom you're shaking hands. Also, don't forget to make eye contact and smile. So tell me about yourself. Well, I was born in San Francisco and then my family moved to Boston. Well, actually the suburbs of Boston, about 20 minutes outside, but you know, you tell everyone Boston. And then I went to UPenn in Pennsylvania and I started out as an art history major and then I switched to economics, but then I wasn't so sure, so I switched back to art history and then I had to complete more credits to, to do the major. It was kind of a pain. So now I'm here with the possibility that I might, might apply to law school next fall. This isn't a license to tell your life story. Rather, use this as an opportunity to give a concise summary of your career, abilities, and goals. I'm a very energetic and organized person, which is why I'm drawn to opportunities such as this one. I have over four years experience at the associate level, and I'd like to further my career path. And I'm also fluent in French, and I've studied and lived in Paris. Great. <laughs> Interviewers want to know how you assess your good points and your bad points. What would you say is your greatest weakness or area that you can improve upon? I have a tendency to oversleep. In the past, I've overslept and missed important meetings. Okay. When discussing your weaknesses, avoid personality or character flaws. Instead, focus on areas that could be improved upon over time. If someone isn't working hard enough, sometimes I end up picking up the slack. I'm working on just sticking to my own order of business. So, are you married? I'm single. It's actually illegal for interviewers to ask you certain personal questions, such as your age or marital status, so you don't need to volunteer that information. If you like, you can answer like this. Let me ask you, are you planning to have a baby in the next few years? I'd rather keep the focus on the job, not my personal life. Okay, that's fine. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks for coming in today. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Do you have a copy of your resume? Here you go. Thank you. Do you have a business card? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. So tell me about your last job. Well, it was really interesting because there had a lot of different elements to it. And I had a lot of responsibility in the position. For example, oh, excuse me. Oh, hey, how are you? Do you mind? Is that all right? Yeah, not too much. Okay. See you then. Bye. So as I was saying before. If you forget and it goes off during the interview, apologize immediately and turn it off without checking who's calling or answering it. We hope these interview tips have been helpful. For more career advice, go to vault.com slash videos.